I am able to route MIDI within Audiobus 3 to both Waldorf's Nave and Propellerhead's Thor, even though they're not Audiobus 3 ready. For, 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 they, they don't have that MIDI routing. Just check this out. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Joko Pak, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. And I want to introduce MIDI Flow Adapter for Audiobus 3. This app will allow us to route MIDI to and from apps that are Core MIDI compatible inside Audiobus meaning they haven't been updated for the new MIDI routing system inside Audiobus. And you know, I thought it was a shame not being able to use all of the apps I already have here. Now I'm able to do that thanks to Johannes Durr. He made a whole range of MIDI filters and MIDI stuff for Audiobus 3. And this is his latest creation and it is pretty awesome. So let me just take you through the setup here and then I'll show you how to connect something like this. Right, so let's go to the audio page. And what I've got loaded is Propellerhead's Thor. And this one is actually playing the bass. And I'm playing this using the MIDI Flow keyboard. So if we go into there, we can see that I've got the MIDI Flow adapter chosen in here and this is where I routed the MIDI to Thor. Now on the next set here I'm playing Nave. And so I've routed the MIDI inside the MIDI flow adapter to Nave and Nave is just playing one of my um, patches. And lastly down here we have Poison 202. I'm not using the MIDI flow adapter since Poison 202 is also available as an audio unit. I've got it loaded as an audio unit inside Audiobus 3. So I'm basically just routing the MIDI flow keyboard directly to it. Now going back into Audiobus, we can see that I've also got DM2 loaded. And so I'm using it to play a drum loop in where I've tweaked my own drum sounds. You can also see that I've got various effects and processors loaded and I'm using four instances of Korv Pressur, an app made by Klevgren Produktion, also known as Klevger. And these are audio units, of course. And I'm also using two instances of Reverb Feedback Delay Network by Amazing Noises, also available as an audio unit extension. I've also got an instance of Zmos Equalizer here which is great because it's got five bands and you can really tweak this one. So that's why I love it so much. And for the bass, I'm using Kematica's AUFX Push. And so I'm using it as a sidechain compressor. And so the sidechain is listening to DM1. Everything is being ported out and recorded into Cubases. So this is a very neat setup. Right, so how do we set this up? How can we make MIDI work for Waldorf Nave and Thor inside Audiobus 3? Right, so we're gonna start from scratch. So I've got nothing loaded. And the first thing you have to do is to open up MIDI Flow Adapter for Audiobus 3. And this is what it looks like. And so you just press continue without Audiobus. Now when this is open, then all of the ports and everything that this thing contains will be out there in the MIDI cloud. So the next thing is to open the first synthesizer app that you want to route MIDI to and or from. Remember also that the app has to be core MIDI compatible for this to work. It doesn't just work if the app just creates a virtual MIDI in an output. So instead of using the same apps as I did before, Waldorf Nave and Propellerhead's Thor, we're gonna use two other apps just so you can see what it is like setting this up from scratch. It's FM4 by Primal Audio. It's one of the best FM synthesizers I've ever used. I love this thing. So what we need to do now is to locate the MIDI settings and we're gonna go into devices and here we can see the MIDI flow adapter outputs. You can also see that they're all chosen and this was specifically written in the instructions for MIDI flow adapter. You have to make sure 
that you only have one of these chosen. So the first thing we're going to do is to de-choose these ones and we'll be done in just a second. And then we're gonna set for an output that we want. So I'm gonna set this one to five. I'm also gonna jump back into the channel and make sure that this one is on channel five. So now that that's set up, I wanna add another synthesizer. And so I'm gonna go for Arctic Pro Synth. And then I'm gonna go into the settings. I'm gonna go into the MIDI, set this one to MIDI channel four. And we're gonna go down and look here. And here we can see that we have MIDI flow adapter out from one out through 10. And we also have inputs. We can also send MIDI out from Arctic Pro Synth. And we're not only limited to MIDI in as we are with FM4. So I'm gonna make sure that this one receives MIDI from MIDI flow adapter four. And we also made sure that it was on MIDI channel four. So when this is set up, the next thing I'm going to do is to open up Audio Bus 3. And the first thing I'm going to do is to add Arctic Pro Synth into this pipeline. And then I'm gonna add FM4 into the next pipeline. So now we have audio out from these two. Next, we go to the MIDI settings page and I'm gonna choose to load up the MIDI flow keyboard. And in the next MIDI pipeline, I'm gonna load up MIDI flow keyboard again. So in the outputs now, we're gonna find MIDI flow adapter and it's right there. As soon as that's loaded, I'm gonna add MIDI flow adapter right here. And there we go. And then we go into MIDI flow adapter. And if I remember correctly, then Arctic Pro Synth, we chose output number four, and we also made sure to set it to channel four. FM4, we chose output number five and channel number five right there. You can also open this up and type in the number if you want. So when this is set up, we can now go into MIDI flow keyboard. And so here we are, and we should be able to play Arctic Pro Synth and FM4 from within Audio Bus 3, which is pretty neat. <laughs> That's most definitely Arctic Pro Synth. And if we make sure to switch the adapter out. And so there you go. That's how you use MIDI flow adapter for Audio Bus 3 to route MIDI within Audio Bus 3 to and from your older apps that aren't compatible with the new MIDI routing system inside Audio Bus 3. I was pretty confused by the setup myself, but I'm hoping that I was able to make it clear for you how it works. And it is pretty neat being able to do this. Right, so thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page, so if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not sign up on Patreon? I've actually got a behind the scenes series going on that I've made available for patrons only that you can watch today if you join up. It's a behind the scenes series, I have already said that, but in where I'm going through the process of making the Audio Bus 3 launch videos. So the footage I'm showing right now is from that series. There's five parts right now and there's gonna be a sixth part coming really soon. Now, if Patreon isn't your cup of tea, I also have a donate me PayPal kind of thing for a one-off donation. If you wanna do that, you can find the links in the description. Also, if you buy new apps, like all the apps I've shown you here, I've got links for those down in the description. We who do this, bloggers and vloggers alike, reviewers and tutorial makers, we usually Apple affiliates. That means that when someone buys an app through a link clicked on in our description box or let's say at maybe Palm Sounds or Discord or Music App Blog, for instance, then we get a small percentage of that purchase. So it's basically Apple paying us for selling apps for them. Then buying apps through our links is also a way of helping. Now, if you don't wanna do any of that, or if you can't, which is understandable, then you can always share my videos, uh, click the thumbs up if you think that the videos deserve it. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click in the little bell thing that pops up beside the subscription button, because um, that way you'll get notified as soon as I put up new videos. Yeah, I've talked for long enough, so I'm gonna go and have some fun with this setup. This is, <laughs> I love this setup, it's pretty cool. So as usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now go finger all of your surfaces and have a, <sighs> and have a lot of fun doing it.